plants have the amazing ability to release chemical signals that will attract the enemies of their voracious predators. This is the case of corn when it is attacked by the Spidoptera, a small caterpillar that has a strong appetite for its leaves. These herbivorous insects do enormous damage and the cost to the American farmers, but also European farmers, millions of dollars or euros. To win any battle, it's an advantage to have allies. The Campoletus sonorensis female is the natural enemy of the Spidoptera caterpillar. But just how does this parasite wasp detect such a tiny caterpillar in a giant cornfield? What we were initially thinking is that they would respond to the feces of these caterpillars or perhaps the body odors of the caterpillars themselves. Uh, feces in our minds is something that is very smelly and that would be a very reliable source of signals that these wasps could use. But then we were studying this in more detail and we found that the plants that had been attacked by these caterpillars were much more attractive than feces or the caterpillars themselves. And that's when we started focusing on the signals that the plants produce. To his surprise, Ted Turlings found that the damaged corn leaf releases a particularly odorous molecule, a specific SOS signal that attracts the caterpillar's enemies. This indicator is like a GPS location signal for wasps, who can then target the tiny invisible caterpillar in the heart of the immense cornfield. So that was, of course, a very exciting moment because we started realizing the plant is doing something to get the enemies of their enemies uh, come and kill the caterpillars. Plants do not communicate like you and I do that, but they transmit information to other organisms, like these parasitic wasps, through odors. One single caterpillar munching on a corn leaf releases the odors that attract the wasps. That's what this olfactometer reveals. But the alarm signal is not immediately released. Several hours will have passed between the first caterpillar bite and the liberation of volatile substances. The plant will then produce odors that will soon be emitted by all of its leaves. The feeding by the caterpillar is not really the same as, as you, if you would damage a leaf yourself. So you, you know if you damage a leaf, you can smell that there's a volatile coming off, so there's an odor coming off. But in the case of caterpillar feeding, they actually have something in their spit that the plant recognize, and the plants are then producing a different odor that they produce from all the leaves, also the leaves that are not damaged, and that results in a specific signal that alerts these parasitic wasps. These odors are produced to attract the enemies of their enemies. Corn calls upon an insect to do its dirty work. This is the, yeah, the secret root of evolution. 
uh, plants have no way to, to move, no way to physically directly defend themselves, start fighting with their enemies, and eventually this results in some sort of communication between plant and insect. Even more astounding, the intensity of the signal varies with the age of the plant. One caterpillar can in fact kill a small plant. And we find also indeed that the smaller plants send off much stronger signals, many more of these compounds from these, these odors than, than the, the older plants. But the caterpillar has adopted a new tactic. To trick the enemy, it has changed its feeding times. The odors are not produced at night, or at least in much smaller quantities, because photosynthesis is necessary. And for photosynthesis, you need light. The corn plant has forced the caterpillars to adopt a new strategy. To survive, they must devour the corn leaves at night. Underground, another species has started an assault on the corn's roots. Diabrotica, the corn worm, is in full-fledged destruction mode. They work their way inside the root where they well protected and then they work their way up all the way to the top of the roots causing the root to com completely be destroyed uh, also making sure that the plant cannot take up water anymore the stability of the plant is lost and in many cases the plant will fall over and there's no corn produced The team of scientists want to find out if the corn roots can also send underground warning signals to attract other natural enemies of the diabrotica worm. Nematodes barely visible to the naked eye. Will the nematodes be guided by the plant in order to localize the diabrotica worm and eliminate it? We have released nematodes at about half a meter away from the roots and they are later within a day found near those roots and killing these insects. Uh, so, and for a nematode, which is less than a millimeter long, that's an enormous distance. So that will be 500 times their body length. Most likely all plants can communicate. And the more and more we study this, the more and more we realize that there are plenty of other things to be discovered that we cannot see but their plants are doing to defend themselves.